Have you guys ever broken up? Tea. <laughs> Um, We've never shared this, so this is a YouTube exclusive. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to be answering just some of the questions we get asked all the time. Let's start with the first question that we've always been asked, but I think when uh, we get new people join our pages, they're always like, how did this beautiful girl meet this? God, you know, joking. Okay. How did the, how did we meet? That's always that our really say? no, no. They just said, "How did we meet?" Details. So, Karen, I let you project the answer. How did we meet? Details. Just kind of tell the story again quickly. Cliff note versions, even though they said details. Okay, so Cliff notes version. We met on Bumble, so we. Wait, wait. Karen is gonna tell you the story of how we met, and I'm gonna do an interpretive dance to him telling the story. Thank you. Okay, tell the story. Okay, so... We met on Bumble and we were messaging. I was really funny. Um, and so we met up, went on a date. Uh, before we actually got to that date, Tosin got really busy, so I didn't hear back from her for weeks and weeks. Uh, she was in like a job that was really demanding. So then, uh, yeah, we went on a first date. We got some hot chocolate, and that was it. That was our first date. And then we had a second date, third date, and before you knew it, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. And that's how we met. Dating apps. That's how we met. <laughs> That was it. Hope you enjoyed that. Um. <laughs> it's definitely, remember, that's a cliff note version. I've just made this story sound so boring. <laughs> but my dancing in the back, I'm sure, made up for it. So that was the interpretive dancing as well of the story of how we met. But you didn't make it sound boring. I think that was grand. Next question. Embarrassing moment separately or as a couple? Which one do we want to do? Do we want to do it separately or do you want to do it as a couple? Because um, I feel like I probably have well, more embarrassing moments. I've got me. the ultimate embarrassing one. Which one is that one? That haunts me to this day. Which one is that one? Um. <laughs> Don't tell them that one! Don't tell them that one! <laughs> They're not ready. No, you're not ready for that one. You Think of another one. Don't, Don't tell them that one. I don't think they need to know that one. Uh... I mean, I'm pretty. I'm. I'm. A, I, I'm quite. I'm quiet. I don't. My embarrassing moments don't happen. Is there one of, with us? Do we have an embarrassing moment as a couple? <sighs> I don't even remember now if we even have an embarrassing moment like as a couple. I feel like embarrassing things always happen to me. So. <laughs> as a couple. I don't think anything bad. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It's embarrassing. A moment where you're like, yeah, I, I can't think of anything. Something where it's proper embarrassing. You're cringing. Yeah. Like you want the ground to just swallow you up. No, you're right. Actually, okay, maybe we don't have an answer for that. I'm so sorry. I don't know if we have any proper embarrassing story here. Yeah. At least on the spot. Oh, really we can't. Disappointing. I, that's such a great question. I know. That's disappointing. That would have been a good one. How do you deal with cultural differences? Um, I say this for myself because. Just avoid them. <laughs> In terms of cultural differences, I don't think I have a lot. Like. As in trans Irish, right? But I don't think I needed to change much or adapt to much in his culture. It was pretty easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. So I think he may be better off taking this again of like, how did you adapt to some of the differences with my culture? Because there's a lot of differences in my culture. Like you can't call my mom by her first name. 
<laughs> yeah. and, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, how has it been adapting to some of the things that is just like, oh, that's what we have to do because we're Nigerian. Like that's just what we need to do because I'm Nigerian. I don't know. I don't think it's been that big of a leap, if I'm being honest. Or is it that you love me so much that it hasn't been that big of a leap? Maybe it's that. Um, I don't know. It's it's like cultural differences. How do I deal with them? I just go with them. They're not that big of an ask. Like, I can't think of one that's really caused any... Oh, any big stir? I guess the biggest thing that I've done is the... Uh, traditional wedding was kind of like that was huge for you. That's the Cause one because you just you just feel like you're like I don't know what I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go, but also what I'm supposed to say. I don't know any of the people in this room. But also outside of that, you'd be more like introvert, like do your own thing and like a big party or like a whole lot of people. Something as big as that is a big deal for him. Yeah, so like, if, the, yeah. If, if I have the option of going to a party or not going, it, <laughs> I'd pick not going it every time. <laughs> I just, it's not my thing. But You just showed up that day, even though there was going to be a room full of like 200 people you'd never met. Yeah, I could have easily been a lot more awkward. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, or there's... reserved, I just not have committed to it. But you did it anyway. Whereas, yeah, I just... I went out and tried my best to uh, embrace the whole thing. But I feel like that embrace is a testament of like your love for me. Yeah, that's true. I never thought about it that way. Um, it's an act of loving someone. Yeah. Yeah. Because you get so wrapped up, you're not really thinking about that. No. You're just wrapped up in like, how do I look right now? Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah. But it was... That's probably the biggest thing. The Nigerian Immersion. Wedding. The biggest immersion into the, that culture. But he went full in on that day. The Nigerian wedding. He yeah. was eating moi moi and <laughs> F.R.R.O. I believe. Like, he was eating everything. Um, yeah, that was the biggest immersion. Everything else has been, like, micro things. Yeah. And it's like Where stuff. I just have to tell you, like, oh, this is what you just have to do. And you're like, okay. I'm like, oh, this is what we need to do. And you're like, okay. Yeah, and sometimes it's only over a phone call or something. Yeah. It's just be the way, like, you're addressing someone or whatever. Just, like, these small things. But uh, then when we were in America and did the Nigerian wedding, that was... The, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, like, the biggest... But you did really well. Into it. Um, you did really well. So next question, any pet peeves? Pet peeves. Don't hold back. Oh. Um, I think the most recent, now this is one that always happens, but most recently was particularly bad. Uh, your washing. I have to do all the laundry. All the, anything like separating the colors, whites, uh, I can do my own laundry, but Karen will never let me do his own laundry. Cottons, so. <laughs> cottons from whatever. All that stuff, and then even just using the machine. How much soap to use. I know how to do laundry, okay? So if you know how to do it, how come our washing machine was literally spewing out bubbles? I, I walked into the kitchen <laughs> and there was soap all over the floor. I wanted it to. It was foaming out of the drawer. Like, you know the little drawer at the top where you put all the stuff in? That was closed, machine's gone. There's like bubbles foaming out from around the drawer. The door, which is locked, sealed, had bubbles foaming out from around it. And I looked in the glass and it's just filled, like it's, it looks like it wants to explode. I wanted to wash the bathroom mat, so I put the bathroom mat in the wash. And I even said, Kieran, I'm gonna wash this. And he was like, sure, go right ahead. I put the mat into the washer. I put soap for the mat into the washer. Okay, did I put a bit too much soap? You I just put, put a gallon. 
She put one item in the machine and a gallon of soap. I put the regular amount of soap you would put into the wash. And maybe I should have put less because it was only a single mat. That, that was my mistake. Oh, it was, but it, anyway. it's an error everyone makes. Everyone's made that. Everyone has made that mistake before, right? <laughs> right? Everyone, everyone's done that, right? No. Kieran doesn't trust me. Kieran doesn't trust me with the laundry because of this, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's a pet peeve. I just, I know when we do it all the time. And anyway, this one time, Tosin, <laughs> uh, there was soap foaming out of the machine. The machine had soap spewing out I of the drawer. I know how to do laundry. I don't Somehow, need you all thinking I can't do laundry. The soap <laughs> was coming around the sealed lock the door. And it was pouring out onto the floor. Oh, so I know how laundry. to do laundry. Okay, um, I know how to do it. Okay. That would be my pet peeve. My pet peeve for him. Kieran forgets everything so easily. So, and maybe it's a man thing. Like, maybe it's just, like, all guys just do this. But, like, I can tell him that, like, we're going to do this later. Or we're going to do this next week. Or we're going to do this. <laughs> and when it's time to do it, I'm like, we're doing this. Remember? He's like, huh? What? What do you? I told you this, I and he's like, "Oh." I have huh? a lot on my mind. I have a lot on my mind. I like, I'm a thinking Kira, man. Don't forget to do this. He's like, "Yeah," and then like later he hasn't done it. I'm like, "You forgot, huh? Did you ask me to do that? Did we talk about that?" Kira, <sighs> that's my. But I think it's a guy. I don't even think it's a you thing. I think it's like a man thing. Like, m like maybe not all. It's not fair, but like 80% of like men forget stuff, I think. I don't know. Correct me. Yeah. <laughs> I look at my siblings as well, and that's where I'm just like, maybe it's a guy thing. I don't know. But that'll be my biggest pet peeve, like telling him something, and then 20 seconds later, he's like, did we talk about that today? Was I, was I, was I talking to myself? <laughs> Next one is how do you balance social media and what you share about your relationship? That's a um, good one. I personally, <laughs> I don't really like it. <sighs> I just don't like, I'm like, I don't even, I don't like being on camera. Um, so for me, it's like, I just follow Tosin's lead. <laughs> like what we're sharing, what we're not sharing, it's yeah. It's up to you. Otherwise I don't really mind. Just like we said at the Nigerian party, Kiran doesn't care for people, he doesn't care for social media. Like he didn't really have I just feel I no, I like I just feel awkward doing this, like talking to a camera is just an awkward feel for me. Yeah, you did say you'd rather be the person behind the camera as opposed to in front of it, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he did say that. <laughs> uh, You've been really so good though, because I feel like everyone's share. been watching our watching watching our vlogs, and they've been like, "Kieran's so funny!" Like, people are like noticing how funny you are and all that. But I know you also are like, it doesn't yeah. make you like want to be in front of the camera anymore. <laughs> no. So that would be. You just I, yeah, my I just kind of go with whatever I tell her. She's yeah. got kind of all the ideas and she's more clued into like what people are doing and what kind of things they're sharing. And Yeah. And I think I just, I'm, it's just, it's very good to just always kind of have boundaries of like what you'd always be okay with talking about on social media as opposed to like what you won't. So like we're very, we'd be very private about certain things like finance. We w I wouldn't be like talking a whole lot about it online unless I'm giving like general overview because that's, that's just like something we want to keep personal and not show on social media as well as like other bits. Maybe you'll see other couples talking about online, but like that's where we won't talk about or like certain trends we won't do while other things that it's like, oh, it's fun. It's whatever. Or even talking about how we met and like other pieces like that, I'm like, that's fine. I'll share that a million times around the sun. Um, but yeah, we just yeah. have like a, I guess in my mind, I have boundaries of what I will be okay with sharing and what we will never share. And just having that like still private part of our relationship as we share some different aspects with you all 
about our relationship too because yeah it's still like me and you and just about having those boundaries and yeah knowing what we're okay with sharing and what we're not okay with sharing and that's it so last question it's all on my phone that's why i keep looking down have you guys ever broken up tea <laughs> Um, We've never shared this, so this is a YouTube exclusive. <laughs> what? Uh, well, sorry to disappoint. We've never. Never ever. So. We've never ever. <laughs> we had our. Are you one... open for it? <laughs> no. When we had our first date. We've spoken every day ever since, and yeah, like, we don't even like have crazy arguments. Is that a thing, like, with people have met and then yes, baby. not spoken every yes. day? I feel like there's some people like, because there's people in on and off relationships before they then get together and like, are together oh. forever, you know, like, everyone's story is so different, but I do feel like there are probably also a lot of people who met their now partners and they've spoken every day ever since but i like saying it because i feel like that's something fun about us um the, from the very first date we've met we've spoken every day ever since like yeah yeah and i think that's really cool and yeah i think because of our couple's check-in we don't really have like big fights or big blowouts which is also really cool and yeah there's never once in my mind that's like we've ever even considered or talked about the yeah. B word. I don't even want to say it. <laughs> um, we're together forever. To gut that forever. You hear me? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Yeah, we have fun a lot of the time. We just. I'm gonna do more interpretive dancing. <laughs> Close this out, Kieran. I do. What's. What's coming up right here? Alright. Look, this is what I have to put up with. Just. Someone who's not funny. <laughs> just a dork. Um, but she's my dork. <laughs> so, that was the QA. Um, I think we answered as best we could. Um, if there's thanks. any other questions. Thanks for asking us the questions that you did. If you have more questions like Kieran is saying, throw it into Look the comments. My, I tried to smile and it, I went like this. <laughs> this is what I mean when I said cameras. <laughs> what do they do to me? Uh, <laughs> Thank you all for watching our Q&A. Thank you for being here. We always, always appreciate it. I'm gonna do some dancing and we'll see you next time. Is that dancing? Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>